Welcome to another Precision Flyer Repairs video. This one is a brief introduction to how to package your trains for shipment. First of all, I'd like to start with take pictures of your items individually. Take pictures of their tops, their bottoms, their sides, and their ends so that you have on record what they look like before they were shipped. Should anything happen to them in transit, you'll have valuable reference material with which to deal with the shipper. Second of all, I recommend that you choose a real box, a box that you know is integral in terms of all the sides are contiguous. It's made of strong corrugated cardboard and you can tape it together strongly underneath as well as then when you're done on top. Use lots of peanuts. Shipping peanuts help to keep things from moving around once they're in the box. Don't be bashful about using a big box and lots of peanuts. Don't make yourself a container from parts of different boxes. Don't use the top and sides from one thing and the bottom from another thing or one weight of material for some of the container and another weight of material for another part of the container. Those weak points are only potential problems that happen for the shipper when they're handling it. Now, let's talk about the protection for the item itself. I advocate using something cardboard around or at least underneath, particularly in the case of an engine. I use the corrugated rolls that AC Gilbert used to put around their engines to protect them. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Or you can build a three-sided tray out of cardboard, and that will at least hold the trucks in place and give some rigidity to its substructure. But in this case, I've cut a piece of the corrugated cardboard roll. As you can see, it's flexible and rolls up. You can buy that through office supply, stores, brick and mortar or online. And I've lined it with a white paper towel. One footnote here of importance is I recommend that you do not have bubble wrap come in direct contact with the paint of anything. Some bubble wrap have chemical in it that can adversely react with the paint on your item. And although it isn't all that frequent or prevalent, all you have to do is have it have it happen to you once and uh, you won't want it to happen again because it leaves like pock marks uh, all over the paint of your item. So I encourage you to line this roll and of course it and the roll will be between your item and the bubble wrap but that was just a footnote don't directly wrap anything with bubble wrap if it's painted. The other reason for lining this cardboard roll is that it'll help prevent chafing of the item in the roll itself and keep it safe. Use plain paper towel, not a printed paper towel, or use 100% white cotton cloth or unbleached tissue paper or plain unprinted newspaper print paper to line your corrugated roll. Cut it so that it's wider than the engine is long so that you get protection for the couplers in this case, or the drawbar in the case of a tender, or whatever your item might be. And cut it so that you can fold it up underneath. That's how you get that tray that the wheels tuck into and hold everything nicely in place while it's traveling. And that you can wrap it so that it covers this bottom area twice and the rest of the engine roughly one and a half times. And then tape it shut so that it has no chance of opening. I uh, wouldn't recommend rubber bands in this case. Uh, when it's in transit, things are better done with tape. And then get bubble wrap and cut it so that you have plenty of length extended beyond the ends and can wrap your corrugated roll that's now taped shut around the engine about three times or three layers thick of 3 16 inch dimpled bubble wrap. The 5 16 inch is kind of big, doesn't fold quite as well, and I think the smaller size offers good protection. Here's a finished cocoon. 
This one is uh, complete with a 493PA inside the white pipe for towel inside the tape shut corrugated roll, which is longer than the engine is, so the couplers uh, are not protruding from either end, but protected by extra corrugated material beyond them. And then three layers of the bubble wrap and cut wide enough that there's plenty to fold over at the ends, tape shut, and create a um, ample safety bumper on the ends of the cocoon. This cocoon is now ready to be put in a strong box that has lots of peanuts surrounding its flanks and ends and taped well shut and sent off to its recipient. So just a couple of tips and some materials that I recommend using. Uh, plain white paper towel or cotton cloth, corrugated roll up material, a really good single piece integral kind of box that you can buy at shipping stores and uh, home supply stores. Uh, 3 16th inch bubble wrap, plenty of packing tape, plenty of peanuts, and make sure when an item or items are in its box, you shake the box and nothing moves around. It's got to be such that nothing can move around inside. Um, and if it does, then you need to add some more peanuts, shake it again, add some more peanuts until actually there's a little pressure from having closed the lid of the box on the items inside and the peanuts um, then help to keep everything snug. Don't use newspaper, uh, tissue paper, or anything like that inside the box between your items or to protect your item in shipping. They will compress and then the items get loose. So initially it might feel as though the things are snug in the box, but if you use compressible materials inside the box around to protect your cocooned item, they will compress and soon the cocoon is flopping around inside and that can lead to damage of the container uh, as well as the item eventually. So don't use those materials inside. Use only peanuts or if you have to make panels out of bubble wrap, sometimes that's a technique to use as well, depending on how much room you have and if peanuts are going to be able to make their way in there or not. But um, here's a few tips and suggestions for shipping that I have found work and help to protect your precious trains. Until next time, be well and have fun with your trains.